you know, like we cannot ask all of the questions basically, but what vital questions do you suppose potential spouses are meant to discuss before deciding to get married? Um, very good question. Um, there's actually quite a laundry list of questions that one should go through. Um, I created a premarital masterclass um, deliberately because I know I cannot even exhaust that list during even one-on-one -on -one counseling sessions. So there's a whole lot of things. Um, first, though, you need to ask yourself a lot of questions before you even consider asking the potential person you look, you believe you want to spend the rest of your life with questions. Um, I always say, Mr. or Miss Wright are looking for Mr. or Miss Wright. So you better be right. You need to know yourself. You need to be self-aware. So um, you also need to get married for the right reasons. Have you explored your expectations of man marriage? Um, many of us go into marriage with various expectations. And I think that is often what sets us up for failure or success. Um, unrealistic expectations have shattered a lot of fantasies about marriage. I am a case in point. I grew up seeing a beautiful home. Uh, I grew up in a beautiful home. I saw a beautiful relationship in my parents and I thought mine would just automatically replicate itself once we get married, once we say I do, that's it. I'll just have a beautiful home. I didn't know the behind the scenes that had gone into making my parents' relationship for 50 years what it was. Um, so I went in with really unrealistic expectations. I didn't know that couples fight because I didn't see my parents fight. So I think, have you explored your expectations of marriage is one of the key questions because it's really important. What do you want? What are you looking for? Why do you want to get married? Why do you believe you're ready? These are key things. And there are certain checklists that you need to actually tick to confirm that you are marriage material, because that would be potential spouse is also looking for someone with certain virtues, certain qualities. So number one, do you have realistic expectations of marriage? Have you been honest with yourself about the reason why you want to get married? Some people get married um, due to pressure, especially women. We're told our bi biological clock is ticking, all our friends are married or our siblings, what's wrong with us? And we actually start to believe that. So are you getting married for the right reason? Some want to get married because they want to run away from a toxic relationship at home in what they're seeing, dysfunction in the home, and they just want to leave that environment that seems to be draining them. But you may be rushing from one trouble to another if you don't get certain things right. You know, have you been able to identify those things that you witnessed growing up that were not pleasant, that may manifest itself in your new relationship? Those are amongst the key questions you have, because many, many people, many people, in fact, most people repeat what they saw growing up, good, bad, or ugly, unbeknownst to them because they've not become self-aware to recognize the things that didn't serve them well, the things that didn't serve their family. Sometimes you won't know if your one parent or another is miserable because they cover up, they put up a good face, they don't want the children to know. However, there is an underlining current that one needs to recognize that is in the background that because you've not addressed it properly could come back and haunt you. So I often say another question you need to ask is, have you addressed and, you know, gone into yourself to identify the baggage you are carrying? Because that baggage can come and rear its ugly head in a new relationship with your spouse and your children. And then have you and the person you want to get married to dealt with your baggage because you might be bringing trouble upon trouble. And then have you discussed what kind of relationship you want to have with your spouse? Um, for some, it's going to be, you know, the man is the head of the house and his word is final. There's no shura like Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did because that's what the man witnessed growing up. Um, you need to discuss these so that you're not in for a surprise. You need to discuss during the courtship period once you're like, yes, this is the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. I've become self-aware. I know what I want. You need to also discuss things like their expectations for children. Um, you know, and your expectations for children and make sure you're on the same page. If Allah blesses your relationship with children, you know, you also need to discuss how many you want to have 
how you want to raise them, um, what kind, who, who is going to play what role. Like my husband, before we got married, discussed everything with me. He said, um, I'm not marrying a glorified housemaid. So I know under Sharia, it's not your job to cook and clean. I'm going to play a big role in that. But even when the kids come, I want to be hands-on. I want to be deliberate. I want to be intentional. So I want to be involved in the whole journey of our children's evolution as they grow. There are seeds that I think we should both plant in them. So those are the kind of discussions you need to have. A lot of us allow love to blind us. And unfortunately, we miss road. <laughs> we can't see anymore because we are so deep in it that we end up ignoring key things. We don't ask the right questions. We ignore red flags. Allah, you're already praying to Allah, Allah, show me the right spouse. And then there you are ignoring the signs that Allah is showing you that there's something wrong with this potential person. Why? Because you're too in love or because your family puts pressure and say, no, you've gone too far. There's no turning back now. You won't bring us shame and embarrassment, but it's not about them. But you need to also recognize it's not about you alone because your marriage is your relationship between you, your spouse and Allah. You're calling Allah to be a witness to your union. You need to know you're, you're playing with fire, literally, if you mess this up, if you don't get it right. So Allah will question you. Once you go into that marriage contract, covenant in the presence of Allah, whose name you invoked on the day you do that nikah, then know that you've got questions to answer in the life to come. Allah will ask you if you fulfilled your obligations to one another. Allah will ask you if your spouse fulfilled theirs and you fulfilled yours to them. So these are things that you need to know is not a joke. Many of us put in so much energy when we're going to get a driver's license. We don't put that much energy into getting married. Many of us to get a new job, we do homework, we do our research. What does, what's the company about? Um, you know, how do you climb up the ladder? What are the job, what's the job description and um, everything, schedule of duty and so on. And then we want to impress the boss, but we don't do that same amount of work when it comes to marriage. And many of us know that getting married and fulfilling our obligations to one another is fulfilling our half of our ibadah. Imagine we put more energy into knowing how to fast properly, how to pray properly, how to do the sunnas, you know, the non-obligatory even. We do research, we do homework, we learn to recite beautifully, we learn to have uh, memorize, have the scriptures on the tips of our tongues, but all that together constitutes half. Fulfilling your obligation to your spouse constitutes the other half. Yet that's the part that you see people messing things up. When you look at the state of marriages today, well, Laya, I'm so scared about what people are going to say to our maker in the life to come because of how badly they are behaving in marriage and how lightly they are taking this other half that we will be questioned about. I'm sure as we go along, obviously, I have a lot more to share as to things you need to ask. But let me allow you to ask another question. Thank you so much, Mark, for that answer.